The history of fresco painting is very old. In different periods it has been used to tell the stories, convey knowledge, and to ornament the architecture. With the passage of time this technique got better and better. In start only the shades of black and red were used which were obtained from oxides of iron. However, more tones were incorporated gradually with the passage of time. In Egyptian period this technique was used in calligraphy and figure drawing. However Egyptians were not painting realistically. Rather than realism their style was illustrative in which maximum information is conveyed using multiple perspectives. In Europe Minoan art is also based on fresco technique. Their work is more realistic and in better condition. Greeks had also contributed in fresco paintings and decorated their temples with religious subjects. When the Greeks were constructing temples another parallel civilization was also working on fresco painting. Their work can be seen in Indian subcontinent in Ayanta caves. Their major subjects are based on teachings of Gautam Bud. This is a huge series of caves consisting of 30 caves. Romans developed this technique to paint very realistically. They divided the fresco technique into three subcategories that is bone fresco, seco fresco, and meso fresco. During Renaissance period Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, and Raphael emerged as a legend. In Muffel period fresco was used to paint flora and fauna mostly to decorate the architecture. Figure paintings was not common in fresco painting. They decorated palaces and mosques so much beautiful that it looked like heavenly work. They painted very complex geometrical patterns and merged with the floral patterns. The most famous mosques in Lahore are Wazir Khan Mosque, and Meir Yamzamani mosques where fresco art can be seen from the Mughal period. The work in mosques which was once one of a kind are now on decline due to mismanagement and carelessness. Fresco the first step to start a fresco painting is to prepare the lime putty. In order to prepare the lime putty quick lime is added in sufficient water to be quenched. This process is highly exothermic, when the entire lime is quenched and the solution becomes cool, it is sifted with the help of piece of cloth. The lime water passes through the cloth leaving silica and clinker behind. After certain time the lime settles down and a gradient of water and lime is formed. Water is separated carefully and fresh water is added. This process is repeated several times to remove the chemicals and impurities from the lime. At the end a thick creamy lime putty is obtained. Here are the tools that we need to prepare the surface. Fresco painting can be done, either on a wall as a mural painting, or on a water absorbent slab. Usually this slab is made up of plaster of Paris. The thickness of the slab, must be half inch minimum. When the surface is prepared, a thin layer of lime putty is applied on it. In case of a large fresco painting the surus is divided in portions. One portion is worked on at a time. The next step is, to transfer the drawing. Either the drawing is transferred using contours with the help of pointed tool, or the lines are pierced in a series of holes, with the help of a needle on the tracing sheet. Crushed charcoal, in the form of powder, is bound in a piece of cloth, and used to mark the holes. The resultant impression, is a drawing in dotted lines. The well-grounded natural pigment is mixed with water, and applied on the lime surface. When the colors are applied in fresco, they have translucent effect like water colors. Carbon dioxide in air, lime, and pigments react chemically, to form a hard rock-like surface, of calcium carbonate. 
pigment become permanent part of that surface. This process is called carbonation. No other color binder is used, in bone fresco. Fresco painting is completed in steps. The world fresco in Italian means fresh. It means natural pigments are applied on lime when it is fresh. When one portion is complete its edges are cleared, so that the plaster of next portion becomes part of it. Same process is followed for each step. Fresco technique is very long-lasting technique and lasts for thousands of years, if done in a right way. Today the fresco painting is done on a smaller scale either on slabs made up of plaster of Paris or ceramic tiles. However fresco painting has a glorious and splendid past attached with it. <laughs>